G'day viewers, Trophon and Troy's Digital Arts Channel. Here I am hunting a reserve out west near a historical town that I've often hunted in the past. I thought I'd sidestep this time instead of hunting that historical town. First I'd come here first and see what's to be found around here. I've actually seen a Facebook post in some metal detecting group of, of some uh, predestinal coin finds in this uh, location here and the guy mentioned the area so thank you for the tip off here I am hunting it <laughs> anyhow I'd say this place has been well hunted like everywhere else I, I have very low expectations but you never know might find some nice predestines here and some nice relics don't know how far this place dates back to but definitely but it was definitely in use as a reserve area, at least in the early mid 20th century. Alright, anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully, I'll find some good stuff here. Seeing the first target. Okay, viewers, first find that's somewhat remotely interesting. Tiny little bullet casing. Find a shit ton of those up where I normally hunt around the rocks in my area. Yeah, not an exciting find, but something to add content to the video. See you on the next target. Okay, viewers, first interesting bottle cap found. 1970s period Leeds lemonade cap. A bit squashed, but I think I can bend it back into shape to look a bit decent. Alright, cool find in the bottle caps department. See you on the next target. Okay viewers, another interesting bottle cap, brand I haven't found before, it says H-I-C, what kind of drink that is, and what company makes it, anyway, not a bad find for bottle caps, pretty new to me, see you next target. Okay viewers, first coin find. Boring as batshit brown bugger. Yeah, got a nice signal. Hope, hope it was a predecessor, but it's just your average brown bugger. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's almost bugger all left in this reserve area. Bet every everybody's been on it. Anyway, gotta try these places out. Give them a good going over within. The time frame you choose and hope for the best. Alright, see our next target. There you go viewers. Got a I was pretty excited on the signal, it's kind of swinging between 60 something and 70 something and um it was reading quite deep and it is quite deep. But lo and behold, just a brown bugger. One cent piece. Oh Hope the next target will be a more exciting one. See you on the next one. Okay viewers. Brown bugger number three. It's time a two cent piece. I had a feeling it was going to be a brown bugger. <laughs> so it's the most probability. Because the probability of it being a brown bugger is generally high when you get high signals. That you think you're going to be a predecessor. In this day and age that's pretty much the case. Anyway. Two cent. See our next target. Hey viewers, another interesting bottle cap. 70s era frisk cap, 70s or 80s, I'd say 70s. Found a number of these over the years. This one's in pretty decent shape. So I'm kind of happy with that. Alright, see our next target. There you go viewers, another interesting bottle cap. Find plenty of these but still this one's in reasonable shape so I'll take it. An old Shelly's lemonade cap, probably from the 60s or 70s. Yeah, I'm not going to spend much more time on this area. It's pretty much looking to be a bust. No really old stuff that I'm hoping to find so far. Just brown buggers, bottle caps. At least the bottle caps are interesting ones, not the shitty crown caps I normally find. Uh, but anyway, yeah, 
Anyway, I'd rather, I'd rather hunt the well hunted out historical town that's nearby that I've hunted several times, dozens of times before. So I'll do a little bit more of a swing around here and then head back to that town and hope that I'll find something there. <laughs> Alright, see you on the next target. Okay viewers, I've moved on from that uh, reserve area. It's pretty much pretty much a bust. I suppose if I were to hunt hunt it for hours on end I might find something good, but I haven't got that level of patience given the fact that it's nearly free in the Arvo. Anyway, I'm gonna anyway I'm back in the uh, in my favourite old well hunted out to buggery historical town. This time I'm going into a different area of the town that may possibly be less hunted so I need to think out the box because everywhere in the everywhere obvious in the town has been well hunted out to buggery and I'm just not finding much anymore but anyway see how I go down this area near the uh, river hopefully I might actually find something but my expectations are below zero so if I don't find anything, I'm not surprised. But you can only give these places a go and see what happens. It's just how it goes with metal detecting. All right, see you on the first interesting target. Okay, viewers, in another area now. The other place was just a certified bust, as expected. Yeah, only dug up a few things around this area. Nothing noteworthy. Here yeah, we just got a tarp ring. Yay. I don't know, because it's a start. But I'll do around here for a little bit and then just go back to the main part of the town and hunt the usual spots because obviously, yeah, not really getting anywhere really. Yeah, I'm just, I just need to find something good because when you don't find something good, when you've got depression like I do, about to depression, it just yeah, it just exacerbates your depression. That's just how my mind works, unfortunately. But anyway, hopefully I'll find something good when I go back into the town, if I don't luck out here. Alright, see so the next target. Hey viewers, just spotted a golf ball. And it's in pretty manky shape. Probably been gnawed away by why, I don't know, wallabies I suppose, I don't know, or well, some, some mammal. Yeah, find golf balls everywhere <laughs> in the most oddest of places. I suppose this area has been used as a driving range. Alright, see our next target. There you go viewers, after intense frustration, getting a target, been searching around forever for it, and then getting a piece of foil, of scrunched up, tin foil that really drove me to, drove me nuts finally found what that target I was chasing is looks to be a rivet off an old horse saddle maybe well anyway, it's a relic uh, I hope it's uh, I hope it's an old off an old horse saddle at least it's something yeah I think I'm just gonna give up on this area and just go to the main town and hunt the usual areas okay viewers I'm now hunting in the main part of the town yeah giving up on the uh, outward areas that I thought might have had potential anyway um, yeah first I guess remotely interesting find this stigmy bob part of something found pretty damn deep don't know what it's off. Uh, it's probably just could be off a toy, toy car maybe, or could be just just an ordinary off something very ordinary. I don't know. But anyway, looks relicky and it's pretty deep. See our next target. There you go, viewers. Finally getting onto something really good. Just found myself an old button of some sort and it looks very old it's actually got some printing uh, 
It's actually got some uh, printing on it, so I'll, I think I can make out Sydney on the bottom there. Anyway, cool find. Finally finding some relics. Like some really interesting relics. Anyway, I'm in the area that I've had the most luck in this town. And I've found over a dozen pre-decimals here, so yeah. Hopefully my, I might strike lucky once again here in terms of the old coins and stuff. Alright, see you in the next target. Okay viewers, just had a, I was really excited for this signal, but it turned out to be another boring as batshit brown bugger. Oh dear. Not really finding many not finding any predecimals at all lately. Been on three hunts this past week and nothing. Nothing predecimal. Anyway, see our next target. Okay viewers, finally found a decent coin. A two dollars, goldies. Nice, finally getting some spendable cash. Alright, cool, see our next target. Okay viewers, quarter past five. Not finding much at all. Anyway, another brown bugger. Yeah, it's been a pretty putrid hunt. Finding nothing but brown buggers. At least I found one really good relic. An old button. But anyway, yeah. It's just not enough hours in the day to be digging up trash and yeah, it's it just when you find mostly trash, just just lose patience. That's just at least that's what happens with me. Oh, anyway. Anyway. Gonna leave probably about six o'clock. Hopefully I'll have something decent by then, but I'm not holding out much hope. Alright, see you next target. There you go viewers. Found some kind of piece of relic. Probably off, probably off, I don't know, I don't know if it's old or not, but it's probably off some, something ornamental, or maybe it's off a lamp, I don't know. More than what, it's probably off a, probably from a, off a doorknob or something. If anybody can tell me what this is, comment below. It's got four teeth on the, on this side of it. Alright, see you next target. Guess what viewers, another brown bugger, yay, not, alright, yeah, it's quite deep too, this area is definitely, definitely had some fill, so, I don't know, I think it's probably been filled in recent times, so I found a modern bottle cap under a bit of soil, alright, move along, I think I should go to a certain area, I found a few good relics at, then call it a day. See you next target. Viewers, finally my luck has turned around. I found something really, really good. Not an old coin, but an old toy car. How's that for a find? It was probably a, a little bit deeper than that brown bugger I found in the previous find. But wow, look at that. The uh, tyres have come off, of course, but yeah, this is a anyway. This is an old toy race car. Could be about 1930s to 40s vintage. I don't know, maybe earlier. I'd say probably no earlier than 1930s. I'll do my research on the internet when I find when I get home. Anyway, this find has literally saved the day because I was feeling a bit, I was feeling a bit down the dumps. I've been a bit moody this weekend, and uh, yeah, when you, when you're moody, you go. Out, if you're like me with a bit of an, who has a bit of autism, and you and you're moody, and you go out and do metal detecting, and you don't find anything good. You're going to get frustrated. But I mean, a lot of detectors get frustrated when they don't find, when they go a whole day about finding good stuff. Anyway. No, this has totally saved the day. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Let's get a close-up of it. It looks definitely looks like a, a, a race car of the 
1930s, 1920s, around that period, possibly 40s, has that kind of look to it. Let's see a uh, race driver hidden between, in, in underneath the dirt there. Well, it goes to show that I seem to always go home with, with at least one or two or a few good things from this, this historic town. Even though it's hunted out to buggery, you persevere, you'll still find some good stuff. Alright, beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to hunt for a little while longer than call it a day. I'm happy I can go home happy now. <laughs> See you on the next target. Okay, viewers, here's a wrap-up of my hunt out at that uh, historical town that I've been hunting quite a lot over the over the past three years. Anyway, uh, yeah, it started out as a very putrid hunt. I was not finding much at all, and I was getting moody and agitated and felt like I was just wasting my time. But, yeah, I was trying out different areas around the town that I've not been to before, which didn't which didn't really produce at all apart from the usual the usual boring stuff like brown buggers and trash but yeah and uh bird eventually picked up really well later on and i found this wonderful relic here which i'll go into very shortly but first here's the finds of of, of the day so yeah as i said start off pretty putrid it's finding mostly brown buggers, um, which are boring as batshit because they're just everywhere in the in the millions. Even after even after everywhere being hunted out, you're still going to find them find them in the uh, dozens. But anyhow, I did find two dollars um, when I started hunting that uh, certain area of the of the historic town that really has produced a lot of good finds so i found the two dollars there also of course i found you know a few brown buggers which was <laughs> wasn't helping my mood at the time and i found then i found an interesting uh relic find which was this old button here it uh says sydney west and uh house don't know what the printing on the top says but anyway that was a that was that kind of lifted lift my spirits a little bit so yeah because it is an old uh, relic anyhow before i get to the best find uh here are some of the other relics i found found this uh stud which i believe is off an old horse saddle Found that in one of the areas, the uh, outer areas that I've never hunted before. Kind of interesting, but didn't quite float my boat too much. Anyway, I found a few interesting bottle caps. I mean, I've already found s several of these kind of caps before, but it's always good. It's always good to find ones in better condition. Anyway, I mean, most people hate finding bottle caps, but I like finding the old interesting ones, so they're going to stay in my collection. Also found this uh, this uh, relic piece here, which looks to be the, I guess, cowling of a, I think you call it that, um, of maybe a doorknob perhaps, the framing of a doorknob, I don't know. Excuse me, my nose is running. I've got sinus issues at the moment. I also found this uh, chewed up golf ball. I well, wouldn't be surprised if the local native wildlife have gotten stuck into it. And finally, onto the best find of the day, which totally lifted my spirits and made that day's hunt all the worthwhile. This vintage toy car. This is a, here it is, all nice and cleaned up. And it's in, apart from missing the tyres, it's in, it's absolutely, in absolutely stunning condition for being in the ground for several decades. This is some kind of a toy race car. 
It looks like a 1920s, 30s era style toy race car. The manufacture date of this race car, this toy race car, I don't know. It could be any time, I'm guessing, between the 1930s and the 1950s. Probably no, I'd say definitely no later than the 1960s, but most likely sometime between the 1930s and the 1950s. And it's in beautiful condition for for being for being a uh, dug up. Most of the paint's still there. And uh, yeah, this is this is definitely this is definitely a ripper of a of a relic find. Not Victorian era vi relic, but it's but for an early mid 20th century relic, it is a beautiful find. And I'm really happy to have found this. It made the hunt totally worth the while because I was feeling pretty damn depressed that day. Uh, I was in a bit of a bad mood um, on the weekend. It was just just things weren't exactly going right. And uh, yeah, but anyway, this really lifted my spirits. I haven't uh, done any re googling yet to know exactly the manufacturer and the uh, time period this toy was made but as said I reckon between the 1930s and the 1950s most likely alrighty well I'm going to do my research on this toy but if anybody can tell me exactly the manufacturer and the the years of manufacturer that be, it'd be much appreciated alrighty well, anyhow, um, stay tuned for my next hunt. I actually plan to go back out to that town again sometime uh, between tomorrow and Sunday. So stay tuned for my next hunt out there. I've found a few new potential areas that I think might be able to produce. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get lucky again out there. All right, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.